Now, what, what shall I do with the whole bag? You don't have to be crazy to own a sports car, but it helps. Because you must be more interested in the quality and personality of the car you drive than in going anywhere. Often you drive and go nowhere. The thing about sports car owners is that they're interested in all sports cars, but they love theirs. This is a film about Porsches, the people who drive them and the ones who make them, those who are crazy over Porsches. Here's car 59, back home at the Porsche Development Center near Stuttgart. This Carrera won the 24 hours of Daytona by 85 miles. Six of the first 10 cars in that race were Porsches. Now Dr. Porsche himself gets a chance to look the winner over at close range. test track. Production models, prototypes, and thousand horsepower racing machines try their wheels here. After each test, the red-coated development engineers look for what happened. To the engine, to the brakes, and to the car itself. In this special room, they find out. And then they modify and change and rebuild and try again. Some of the things they work on go into the cars that will be on the roads. And some, like this 1,000 horsepower engine, are designed for racing only. For production cars, as for race cars, quality means care. 
pistons and connecting rods are weighed individually and matched in sets. Engines are assembled by hand. How well is a matter of whose hands? These hands and these minds are special because of their skill and attention. Each man completes his part of the assembly. He doesn't just add a piece or tighten a screw. He builds. The racetrack is where it all has to hang together or break. It's the best test of the worth of a construction, of how everything goes together. Things that go together are sports car fans and racetracks. And when their car is winning, it's really together. Racing isn't just driving fast. That may be the result. But first comes planning and getting the feel of every move that may be needed during the race, on the track and in the pits. Fueling a car safely in minimum time is just one maneuver for the crew to perfect. Porsche Park at the racetrack, owners use the cars they drive during the week to sit in comfort and watch cars very much like their own going all out on the track around them. The performances out there bring pride of ownership here. Pleasures of motoring a manifold. Even for the police, the mood can be as catching as the wind. Porsche tradition lives here in Stuttgart, in the factory. Still a family enterprise, it was started by Ferdinand Porsche. To this reception room come owners who want to pick up their car at the factory. Often the customers are as well known for the quality of their performance as the name of the car they drive. Like skating star Peggy Fleming. of Porsche are at work. The men in blue are the builders. 
craftsmanship takes time, and time is money. More money today than ever before. But these cars are made by hand. Not more than 67 cars a day, and no two will be really alike, because everyone who wants to own one also wants to feel it is uniquely his. Different in color, in equipment, in performance. Only the engineering and quality of workmanship in each car unite them under the name Porsche. This is no ordinary assembly line. It's a place where conscientious men devote themselves to build in the quality that is their pride. Inspectors in green are part of the process everywhere and all the time. These doors will come off again after the whole body has been painted to be individually equipped and finished for installation near the end of the line. This extra effort means a perfect fit and a perfect color match. The body metal is prepared for painting by hand. What the inspector finds faulty, the craftsman will correct. Transmissions like the other parts of the car are assembled individually by hand. Sports car drivers like to shift for themselves. The precision and feel of the gears are critical to them. Transmissions are tested by giant machines delivering stress and measuring it. Even the tires, and that's what's going to be between the driver and the road, have to pass examination. Their tread characteristics are observed on test machines that were developed here at the research center. In a family business where your name is the name of the product, you worry about everything that goes into it. Testing materials is a matter of course and of continuity. Just because it was good yesterday doesn't mean you can't improve it today. And like the materials, the methods used to test them become those of today. Sports car owners love the sound of their cars. But the sound of power needs to be orchestrated. It can't be just noise. And unwanted noise inside a running car must be eliminated. In an acoustic chamber, itself completely isolated from its surroundings, the residual noise is measured and muted.
A simulated crash test is prepared on a sled. How a car and its occupants will fare under enormous stress and how to make the occurrence of such stress less likely is the focus of these test procedures. it must be protected from the elements. Before the colorful finish goes on, the car is submerged. An electrophoric process makes the particles of primer paint adhere to every part of the body during immersion. The range of colors asked for is literally endless, and each customer's wish can be fulfilled. Some ask for a color to match their eyes. Painter signs his work like other artists in other places. The difference between a truly great work of art and run of the mill can best be measured in the attention given to detail. That, more than anything, will set it apart and make it special. Here, Porsches go all over the world. When the brake and signal light lenses are installed, it's the first clue as to the car's destination. The doors, finished in pairs for a perfect match, now meet their car again. assembled with disc brakes are installed. Engine and drivetrain follow right behind. A metal form becomes a car.
process of making sure that the constructors follow the design standards exactly is continuous. But at the end of the line, the effort is total, and every inch of the newly built car is checked out by three inspectors. gas and some oil, a car comes to life. Immediately the first small shakedown. Even before it goes on its test drive, the engine, gear train, and brakes get a workout on the dynamometer. The engine has already been on a test stand before being installed. Now, it's all together. It's during the 20-mile test drive outside Stuttgart that the first human reactions to the car's characteristics are obtained. Driving these cars is the most sought-after job at the factory and each test driver is aware of his responsibility. To the customer and the name Porsche. During a stop en route, they do all the things to a car that its owner will be doing. They make sure that when the owner does it, it will work. Results are permanently recorded on what amounts to the car's birth certificate. These 20 miles must prove the car is worthy of its name. After this road test, the cars go back into the factory. Now, anything that may have been discovered on the shakedown crews will be adjusted, replaced, tightened down, and made fit. Finally, the cars are made ready for the customer the owner who may be waiting in that reception room up front, or one who's an ocean and a half away, waiting just as eagerly. People who drive Porsches are like the people who build them. The satisfaction of creating a superb machine becomes the pleasure of owning something that is truly well made. Racing vehicles and personal transportation, designed and built in one concept.
At a time when much seems lost in a world of impersonal production and repetitive sameness, a few things of honest value stand out. It's not just a matter of getting somewhere safely and comfortably, or nowhere very fast. It's a way of life. It's the one for the road. 